Successful brand recovery comes to some degree through what you post in social media today to stay in front of the situation. As we talked about uh, a little while ago about people wanting to feel connected, right? And they want their feet planted, they're disoriented after the disaster, and I don't mean disoriented like that, they don't know what to do, regardless of the disaster. Not everybody knows what to do. Give them something to do. If you have an hour until your next update, say, you know, we have an hour until the next update. As you watch the news or you follow social media, if anything occurs that you have a question about, feel free to come back and ask that question. We'll follow up for you. It does two things. It gives them a task to focus on, and it provides you with things that you might not be monitoring right now that can help save your brand. What's trending out on Facebook? What's trending out on Twitter? And if people come back and give you that information, you can say, thank you for providing that. I, I haven't seen that. But in an hour from now, when we do the next update, I will have more information for you about that. And you didn't even have to gather it. You gave it to the folks that were impacted as a task. And it helps them focus. And it, you get the benefit of the information that comes after. We have processes in place or a procedure in place. We're gathering information from social media, from our folks on the ground. And we see this all the time, in, and I'll go back to an aviation, just even in a drill. You have a family assistance center like this where all the family members, the pretend family members are here, and the, the person in front says, and usually because they're scared, they don't know what they can and cannot say. They haven't been given permission. So we have to do that before the disaster. Here's what you have permission to say. You have permission to say anything that you know to be factual, right? So I can't really say, well, this is what was on the news, because I don't know if that's true or not. But what I do have access to, particularly as an airline, is I have access to the field. The family members are sitting here. I should be able to say to them, airport rescue and firefighting, or the firefighters, are on scene. They've put out the fire. They're now doing this. The airline is preparing to have its team members brought in to respond to you. These are all things that we know behind the scenes that are happening. So you have that information as an organization. You know that you're mobilizing. You know that you're getting team people or team, teams in place. Processes are running. So tell people that. You don't have to be specific to what the processes are at that point. Here's what we're doing. As we monitor the social feed, and as you see things, bring those things to us, and then we'll be able to vet them out because we want to make sure we give you factual information. You're going to get a lot of information via social media and on the news that may not be correct. So if you see something you have a question about, bring it to us, and we can talk to the officials, whoever those officials are, to find out if that's true. But then you have to follow up on it. That's when you get into trouble. If you don't follow up on it, then it becomes fluff.